breaking news. No first, no now. CBS2 News. The Consumer Electronics Show 2009 Best of CES is a special presentation of the CBS television stations. Remember when technology used to be something for the geeks and scientists? Well, not anymore. Today, you don't need to be a scientist to be high-tech, because high-tech is a way of life. It's not just about how we play, but how we live. Look around. The gadgets are everywhere, keeping us more connected and more mobile than ever before. And the Information Superhighway has one important milestone each year, a place where the world gets to look at the technology and the trends headed to store shelves and homes in the months ahead. It's the annual Consumer Electronics Show. Welcome to CES 2009 and the best of CES. Hi everyone and welcome to Las Vegas and one of the biggest technology showcases in the world, the Consumer Electronics Show. I'm Daniel Seberg, CBS News Science and Technology Correspondent. And I'm Natalie Del Conti, Senior Editor with CNET. We're here at the CNET stage at CES, where our teams from CNET and CBS News have been hard at work to cover this year's show, from the latest tech headlines to the reviews and expert analysis of some of the newest products making headlines. The CES is known as the place where the big ideas and technology get unveiled. In past years, it's where the video cassette recorder, the CD player, and the plasma TV got their debuts. This year, more than 130,000 people, including manufacturers, journalists, and industry analysts, will cover 1.7 million square feet of exhibits to look at tens of thousands of new products. Gadgets, games, and gear fresh out of the factory and making their way to our homes as we speak. Over the next half hour, we're going to take you along for an insider's look at the show, including the most unique products and a look at the tech trends on the horizon. In addition to a little show and tell on the technology, we'll also let you in on what products our CNET editors and reviewers think are tops on the list, the very best of CES this year. Let's start things off with a quick look at some of the hottest tech trends making headlines this year. Here's CBS's Drew Levinson. For gadget freaks, this is paradise. TVs are thinner, toys are smarter. Just about every new electronic device is here. Put the glasses on and the game actually pops off the screen now. NVIDIA's glasses turn your video computer games into 3D. Pretty cool. So it pops off the screen. Oh Pretty yeah. cool stuff. Clarion's got a global positioning device on steroids. Well, it'll get you where you're going. And when you're there, you can use this to browse the web and do social networking, MySpace, and YouTube. What you see here could soon be the next big thing, including this watch phone with media player from LG. Honest to gosh, Dick Tracy technology finally arriving. The electronics industry is feeling the economic pinch. These companies know most people won't spend their disposable income on what they want, but they will spend it on what they need. They must have digital television. Next month, the old analog sets won't work and the other need to have is the smartphone. They aren't all that expensive, especially with the carrier subsidy. And today, if you don't have a smartphone, you're starting to feel behind very quickly. But make no mistake about it. This show is still all about the coolest things out there. And this show is full of whiz-bang stuff. That's great shooting right there. That's great shooting. I am really into those thin TVs. I want one. Uh, you got to wonder how thin they can go. Thin is definitely in, though. Yeah, soon they'll be paper thin. One of the best things about CES is that it's hands-on. You get to see the gadgets, but also try them out. CBS's Dave Malkoff had a chance to do just that, and he has a look at a few more trends on the CES floor this year, including TVs that are more energy efficient and laptops that have shed some weight. Things seem to be getting smaller this year at CES. But is your energy bill doing the same thing? This is Mitsubishi's 65-inch LaserView TV. It's 7,000 bucks, but it actually uses lasers to paint the image on the screen. Why do you care? Well, here's a normal plasma screen, and here's how much wattage it uses. The LaserView uses about the same wattage as a 100-watt ball. These tiny little laptops you're seeing everywhere are about to get smaller and lighter, all thanks to this little chip announced here today from SanDisk. This is a 64 gig drive. No more hard drive in here, no more moving parts. All this tech is great, but the wires back here make quite a mess. What if we didn't need any of this? 
This is called the power mat. It charges through the air. So, what I can do is I can drop this device over here, and you can see it's charging. It's a system that allows you to charge low power devices like phones and this stuff here, but you're also able to charge a 100 watt computer. Like many things you see at CES, the power mat is not available right now. It'll actually be in stores this fall. It uses a technology called inductive power. What that does is pave the way for technologies like cell phones that are completely encased with plastic. You don't plug a power cable into them, so you could drop it into the toilet, no problem. Back to you, Natalie and Daniel. As a woman, I gotta say, I am loving the netbook trend because they fit into my purse. Yeah, nice and compact. And that will help probably with the shoulder strain when you're carrying on that laptop bag. Yeah. As we mentioned at the top of the show, we're here at the CNET stage because this is where the editors and experts from CNET do what they do best, write about and review technology. And in addition to learning about the thousands of products on the CES floor each year, they also undertake the awesome task of picking the best products of CES. They narrow down all of the offerings into 10 categories. We'll be sharing those top picks with you throughout this program. Let's start with our first three winners of the best of CES. Here's CNET's Brian Cooley. All right, folks. The first category that is driving some real change in what we see here at CES. The best of CES in the car tech category is... Race Note Voxonic Car Stars. Car Stars was a totally different interface for dealing with media in your vehicle, and what was really wild is that it's got a synthetic voice ability that will create the voice of famous musicians you like, and they'll guide you through your music. The next category for the Best of CES Awards knows exactly where it's heading. And the winner for the Best of CES in the GPS category is... Give it to TomTom, Tom, the TomTom Tom Go 740 Live. The TomTom Go 740 Live is not the first connected GPS unit we've ever seen, but we think it's the first to get it right. It'll give you a live connection for traffic, fuel prices, weather data, and Google search. Our next category is enjoying one of its most innovative years ever at CES. And the best of CES in the computers and hardware category goes to... Sony VAIO P-Series Lifestyle PC. Just when we thought we'd seen every shape and size of computer, Sony comes up with one that is the same footprint as a standard business envelope, but with a really generous screen, an amazing widescreen display, and every possible kind of connectivity on the planet right now. Checking my calculator, that's three down and seven to go, including the best product of the entire show. When we come back, we'll have more of the best of CES, including one of the top trends of the show, and here's a hint, everything old is new again. Mm. We'll be right back. The Consumer Electronics Show 2009 Best of CES is a special presentation of the CBS television stations. Welcome back to CES 2009, a look at the technology and trends on display at this year's Consumer Electronics Show. Here at CES, it's all about showing off the latest technological breakthroughs, but a big part of the show is bridging the old with the new. CBS's Manuel Gallegas shows us the modern take on things that have been around for years. You'll find them tucked away in this technological wonderland, the robot vacuum cleaner, a desk lamp that's now a TV. And this is definitely not your grandma's sewing machine. Stitches at 1,000 stitches a minute. It has camera viewer in it. It's got drag and drop technology, wireless connection. It's today's technology. While the electronic giants focus on the next big thing, it's also big business here to reinvent the familiar. Kodak's frames are digital and wireless now, and the only film cameras they still make are disposable. Some customers miss their old trusty cameras. You used to shoot film, the old, you said you liked the old. Oh yeah, the old 620, I'm still longing for those days, but I think they're gone. And this is not only a state-of-the-art drum set, it's a drum lesson. They're all following the teacher. Miss your turntable? This one converts records to digital. And there aren't any 45s in that jukebox. What's a 45, you ask? It's just the traffic of people walking in saying, I remember when I had a jukebox, or I remember when I had that old radio, or what have you. A taste of the old with the technology of today. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, Las Vegas. 
I'd like to see a high-tech light bright maybe in my future. That's a good one, or I'll take a high-tech easy bake oven. Okay. Well, we promised more of the top technology on the CES floor this year. Now we're ready to reveal to you the next three products that the judges at CNET voted the best of CES. The next category is again redefining how we capture an image. That's right, digital photo and video. And the best of CES in the photo and video category goes to... Sony! Sony Cybershot DSC G3. There have been cameras with Wi-Fi built in before, but we don't think any of them have gotten it right. That changed with the show winner Sony Cybershot DSC G3, a compact digital camera that's a great camera, but also gives you built-in wireless with a web browser and uploading tools. Finally, they got the formula right. Our next category is all about fun, but the competition is no joke. That's right, gaming. And the best of CES in gaming goes to... Nyko Wand. The Nyko Wand is a new kind of Wii remote for the Wii gaming console, and it allows it to connect to other kinds of controllers and morph into different shapes. A gun or a sports paraphernalia, whatever you have, it really is going to allow people to have greater control over the different styles of controllers they want to use. Our next category is all about sound, yes, but there are no earbuds involved. That's right, home video, home audio, I should say. And the winner, the best of CES in the home audio category is... Samsung HT BD7200. Congratulations to Samsung. The Samsung HT BD7200 may not have a very sexy name, but it's a sexy looking home entertainment center, and it connects to the internet to stream Netflix video, Pandora music, it has Wi-Fi, of course, an iPod dock, and can do stereo Bluetooth streaming from your latest music smartphone. We're more than halfway through the list of the best of CES, with only four more products to go, including the single best new product of the entire show. When we come back, we'll have those picks for you. And all the latest trends in televisions. That and more when we return. The Consumer Electronics Show 2009 Best of CES is a special presentation of the CBS television stations. Welcome back to Las Vegas and your insider's look at the best of CES 2009. All right, if you're looking for new ways to shoot and watch video, CBS's Dave Malkoff may have some great new products for you. If you're looking to put high definition in the palm of your hand, you can look no further. There are all these camcorders out, these little flip cameras. They use no tape. They actually record right onto an SD card that you put inside. That's the same kind of card that you would use on your digital camera. This one is from Aptech. It's called the GVS. It will be available in stores in just the next month or so. Let me show you some of the features on this. It's got a five times optical zoom. It shoots in both the HD format, 720p and 1080p. It's got a night mode and it's also got Got image stabilization but it's the electronic image stabilization the one thing that I think is really cool about these cameras is they're great but these cameras don't always have the best sound there's a little tiny embedded microphone in here so if you're trying to record one of your family members you have to get really really close but this one right here Take a look at this. This one actually has a microphone input in there. You can plug any kind of consumer or professional microphone in there and have professional sound on your home videos. But there's always been a problem out there. People think that these screens that are on all these devices are way too small to actually watch a video on there. Problem solved. See that? That image is being projected by this. This is called Aptex Pocket Cinema V10. Look at that, it projects an image onto the wall coming from your iPod or coming from the device itself. It has internal memory. It projects up to a 50 inch screen anywhere that you are. So you got a 50 inch screen in your pocket. You don't have to strain your eyes looking at that. Daniel and Natalie? Okay, now we're ready to show you the next three products that were among the tops at this year's show. These gadgets make CNET editors picks of the best of CES 2009. Here's CNET's Brian Cooley. Our next category is right at the center of the changing entertainment landscape. That's right, we're talking about home video, folks. And the best of CES in the home video category is... There it goes, Echo Star. 
Sling Loaded High Definition DVR. Congratulations. Echo Star brought out what's called the Sling Loaded HD DVR. It's a one terabyte high def DVR, but what really amazed us is it has built in Slingbox technology, allowing it to send its signal out to the computer you're sitting at. Really the ultimate in integrated remote viewing of your home entertainment rig. Our next category proves that there is a lot more than just the iPod line to think about when you go portable. MP3 and video, the portable media players that we all love so much. And the best of CES in the MP3 and video category is... Samsung P3. Just when you thought the iPod had everything cornered in terms of portable media players, Samsung kind of blew us away with the P3. It's a touchscreen media player, a 3-inch screen, good size, FM radio, of course, stereo Bluetooth, and it'll be available up to a 32 gigabyte internal capacity. All right, folks, our next category is the one you simply cannot avoid here at CES. Of course, television. <laughs> Was there any place you ever stood that you weren't surrounded by 50 of them? No. And the best of CES in the television category is... It's the Panasonic G10 series. CES is a major show for televisions. We saw the Panasonic G10 with THX certification, internet connection to get video from the internet, like Amazon Video On Demand, and it's very green, using half as much power as the TV it replaces. This could be the TV to beat. Brace yourself, are you ready for our last pick? We'll have it for you, as well as a look at how to connect the internet to your television when the best of the Consumer Electronics Show continues. The Consumer Electronics Show 2009 Best of CES is a special presentation of the CBS television stations. Some of the biggest buzz at this year's CES is all about television, specifically how and where you're going to watch it. Here's CBS's Manuel Gallegas with more on the future of television. It's one of the hottest products at the Consumer Electronics Show. With stuff like Boxy, it takes it to the next level. It's called Boxy. It's a software system that brings all the television content from the internet right to your TV. No more cable subscription or satellite dish. It's all your favorite network TV shows on demand all the time. You know, it's time for you after work and you want to watch the latest episode of Heroes. You can go into Hulu and you can browse Hulu and get to the TV show you want. Or if you want to check out a movie from Netflix, you have a Netflix application as well. Another wave of the future, phasing out DVDs. This Blu-ray box still plays your discs, but it also connects to the internet, where tens of thousands of high-def movies will be available. You can go to their Watch Now titles, and you can stream movies through this box to your TV. Instantly? Instantly. The overall trend in electronics is to get what you want, where and when you want it, from the big screen to the palm of your hand, even in your car. Debuting at this year's show, AT&T's CruiseCast, 22 satellite TV channels right in your back seat. When we put together the system and we started looking at the demographics that we wanted to go after, it was all about family entertainment in the car. Just keep your eyes on the road ahead. More technological breakthroughs are just around the bend. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, Las Vegas. Well, we've come now to the point in the show when we can reveal to you the true best of CES. This is the one product that the editors and reviewers at CNET determined to be the top product on the entire show floor this year. Now we come to the summit of the best of CES awards for 2009, the award that every company here would love to take home, but that only one can. That's right, it's the best in show and the winner of the CES 2009 Best of Show Award is... Palm Pre! That's pretty impressive. Palm needed a hit and they got one. Their Palm Pre, brand new, one in the cell phone and smartphone category. Not even due out for perhaps six months, but it's got an amazing new touchscreen interface, a real keyboard, and a new Palm OS. This should be a major contender. Well, there you have it, the best product of CES. We hope you've enjoyed this look at some of the tech trends and toys 
that will be making headlines in 2009. We have covered a lot today, but if you want more information about the products and trends we reviewed, as well as reviews of other tech products, you can head to ces.cnet.com or cbsnews.com. There you'll find product reviews as well as demonstrations and web chats with the CNET team on a whole variety of products. Thank you for watching. I'm Natalie Del Conti with CNET. And I'm Daniel Seberg with CBS News. The Consumer Electronics Show 2009 Best of CES is a special presentation of the CBS television stations.